How's it going everybody? My name is Adam Repos Vox and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new YouTube card polls. YouTube now has polls. Twitter has polls. Facebook now has or has had polls for a while. People seem to have forgot. And now YouTube has polls. And I've actually had this for a few months, but apparently everybody has it now and I already forgot about it. So I'm going to show you how to use it and hopefully start using it a bit more on the channel. So you're going to see it right now on the little eye, whichever corner that is, I'm really bad at this. And it's gonna pop up asking if you would use YouTube polls, polls in your videos. And this is a way to get a lot more viewer engagement. And as a case study, my buddy Falk in 1974, he has a Call of Duty channel and he's running a best gun series and you go and vote on the guns. And those votings or those vote results are taken from the YouTube polls. So that's a good way and he's gotten a ton of instant viewer engagement from it. And it's a good way to build engagement on your viewers and interact them, interact with them on a better level. So I'm going to show you how to set that up in this video. Let's check it out. All right, so over here in your YouTube video manager by, of course, clicking your avatar, creator studio, videos. In order to add cards, click edit on your video and then go up to the cards tab up here. And suddenly, you can start adding cards to your YouTube video. But what about polls, you may be asking? I've added cards before, but what about polls? Well, polls are actually just a card option, so... In case you haven't taken a look at this in a while, because I often do not, they've actually added donation. So I will skip forward in the video a little bit here and go to add donation. And then you can actually add, this isn't for like fan funding donation. This is for actual charity donation. So if I want to search for uh, Cosair, it will search and there's Cosair. And I can choose that and then I can choose an image and this is a health, health there we go. Choose the health image. Support co Cozair, please. And then your teaser text will be help kids now. And then create card. And suddenly you've created a card for donating to Cozair. And then same thing for polls. If you want to go to add a poll, simply it, it's better to choose like an early spot in your video, like where I put this Cozair card. So I'll put that towards the end. Um, if for a polls card, you want it up front and early that way. Anyone who's already watching your video will catch that there is a poll early on, which is going to help them stick around longer. Choose poll, type it in. You can add up to five choices, I believe. Yes, you can add up to five multiple choice choices. Users can only pick one option. So let's say, will you use cards? Yes. No. Pizza. Turnip. What? And then create card. And it automatically saves it and applies. None of that saving and applying like with YouTube annotations. It just automatically applies it. And then you have a multiple choice poll here. Will you use cards? Yes. No. Pizza. Turnip. What? And then all viewers, as soon as they vote, will get to see the results. And then you'll get to see the results as well just by viewing this or viewing the, uh, the, the video. Or if you go to analytics, if you click the card section in analytics then you can view card usage over the past, you know, however month, you know, however time span you choose. And so I am, in the past month or so, I've had over 3,000, or in the past few months, I've had over 3,000 card teaser clicks, only 457 actual card clicks. And then it shows here, teaser clicks, what time the cards were shown, uh, and then how many actual card clicks? 47, 43, 33. So lots on my OBS tutorials. Some on my Windows stuff, but mostly on my tutorials here. So, oh, this is actually the, oh, this is cool. Okay, so this actually shows you the cards that are being clicked. And so if you have polls that are very common, it, see it has a poll there. What, what features are important to a mic? Audio quality. Do you use a phone case? Right there. So it does have some polls that have been clicked. And I've gotten 24, or I've gotten 16 actual clicks on this, and 47 actual clicks on this poll, and then it'll show you when it links to other videos, things like that. So you can view the results of your polls right there in your analytics, and that's literally about it. And then if you go back and actually load up your video, so this is the one I applied the cards to, I click play, I'm sitting here talking, 
And then, do 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 it's somewhere within the first couple seconds here, the card should pop up. And boom. Will you use cards? Okay, let me click that. Will I use cards? Uh, pizza. Uh, no. Uh, turnip. And then at any point throughout the video, if the viewer is watching and hadn't seen the card previously, they can mouse over. The eye's already up there. They can see the total cards in the video. And then choose which one they like and click on the Cozair thing, etc. And then they can donate right within there if you're using the donation. So, hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, be sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. Let me know in the poll on this video, will, not, not the one you see on screen, but the one you're watching now, will you use YouTube card, or will you use YouTube polls as a card? Uh, this is kind of to replace the use of straw poll, as everybody likes using straw poll for their polls, but social media sites don't want you going off-site for that stuff. So Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube have now integrated it. Twitter polls are great. Everyone seems to have forgotten about Facebook polls. And now YouTube card polls are now public to everyone. So let me know in the card and as well as the comment section down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.